All right, Shalom. All right, uh, we're the brothers here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. All right, uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right, so uh, this is a uh, in transit lesson. All right, uh, we don't necessarily have a topic. You know, uh, we're just, you know, riding and, uh, you know, whatever scriptures come to mind. And, you know, whatever's on our mind, uh, we're going to go into. But, uh, you know, right now we're, we're uh, headed to camp. And, uh, you know, today is uh, is today May 1st. That was yesterday. Today is May 2nd. And, uh, you know, supposedly, uh, um, you know, they had opened up or, or, you know, they're slowly starting to open up businesses again. All right. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how things go, you know, because, uh, you know, we know that the end is, is here, you know, and um, I guess um, this Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, okay, so, you know, these prophecies were written you know, for 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 us, okay, for for us to to cling to, and to know the signs, and um, you know, like I said, we we know that even if things, even if certain businesses start to you know pop back open, and you know you the NBA comes back, and all these different things, which I don't see that happening, but right. you know, once these things start to slowly come back. We still know that that this is the end, man. Exactly. You know, exactly. everybody's got it. Yeah, you know, we deal, you know, speak from, from prophecy standpoint, as right, was going into, you know, this that it's that final beast, man. It's no scripture that we say the, you know, basically the beast beast would go down. You know, uh, uh, you know, as your scripture said, Revelations uh, 13 chapter it said uh, one of the heavens wounded unto death, and he came back. That's it. They, after this, that's it, man. You know, there's no more, uh, uh, you know, second go around for the so-called white man. You know, so you can, you can, you can open up America and, and try to get these business back going. Hey, hey the prophecy say what it say, man. You know, right. the plagues, the destruction, you know, the pestilence, all these things are still going to come from before America. The scripture say when, um, what's that, uh, for Thessalonians 5, um, they shall say uh, peace and safety, then set and destruction come upon it, man. So you're playing right into the Heavenly Father's hands, man. I can grab that, too. Hey, if, I could, um, if I could add, you know, when you go into Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, mm -hmm. it talks about um, Babylon being a golden cup oh, yeah. in the Lord's hand. Yeah. You know, and that's 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 America. You know, America has been a, 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 a beacon of uh, glory to the, you know, of the, of the world for... A certain amount of time right you know but like the brother just mentioned that now the heavenly father is going to bring plagues upon this place because it's been glorifying wickedness mm -hmm. so now that 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 um that cup is is, is going to be you know poured out okay mm -hmm. um it talks about how uh america's going to try to heal itself Right. You know, take bomb for her pain. Mm -hmm. If if so, she may be healed, and that's what these trillion dollar stimulus packages are doing. They're they're continuing to try to prop up America mm -hmm. for as long as they can, while at the same time it, it's really hurting America. Yeah. You know, the more money they put into the system, the less value, and the other countries are going to start losing uh, uh, faith in the dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, like the scripture says, but she is not healed. Yeah. You know, America's yeah. not going to be healed, so they can reopen up as many businesses and stores as they want. But at the end of the day, like the brothers are saying, the, the prophecies of the scriptures say that this place is going to be destroyed. That's right. It's uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so, you know. Like the brother Ratazan said, you know, that peace and safety, you know, like like brother said, 
this is you know no matter how you know, what a, what attempts they do to prolong it because all they're doing is buying time. Yeah. That's all you saw is doing. He's just buying. You know, he's on borrowed time. Yep. You know, and he knows that it, just like the scriptures say, uh, the devil know it. He has but a short time. Yep. He knows that he knows he has a short time. That's why you know he's he's moving quickly to fulfill his uh his new world order plan. Yep. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it says, uh, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, and, and yeah. the Lord gave us the spirit to understand these things and, and to tell Esau what he's going to do before he does it. That's right. You know, you got, you got something? Yeah, I got something real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Job, yeah. Job uh, 14 and 5. Okay. You know, yeah, like what I was going into, man, it's just, that was on borrowed time, and he's basically only going to go as far as the most high want him to. Mm -hmm. You got it. Oh, okay. Why are we from? This is a Job 14 and 5. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Mm -hmm. See, that's talking about the so called white man, Esau. So the Lord put certain limitations and restrictions on this man's rulership, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Like we've been bringing out, yeah, you you know, you had certain businesses coming, so called coming, so called reopening. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's sunny outside. People are, you know, trying to get back into that old spirit. Man, this place is done, man. You know, mm -hmm. this place is finished, man. There, 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 there's no, as brother quoted in Jeremiah, there, there's no, this, this wound is not going to be, uh, you know, um, healed, healed, man. Mm -hmm. It's over, man. You know. Yeah, because they, they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to come with attempts to repackage America and make it. You know, especially with that chip. Yeah. And be like, look, you know, look, America, you know, we got the system in place. This mm -hmm. is this is where it's at. You can go shopping, you don't gotta touch nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, we we you know, they're gonna try to repackage America. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this coronavirus pandemic that they're they they're using out here, that's a that's a, you know, the perfect storm so to speak, for them to uh to uh you know like brother saying repackage America and bring in a new way of life you know um, I, I had read an article um, a couple of days ago and it was just speaking about how they want to add more of a biometric a biometric uh, infrastructure when it comes down to buying and selling mm -hmm. you know you got these different um, stores like Amazon you know they had these different cashless stores that they really want to implement uh, RFID in, you know, and you already have the that technology within your, you know, your cell phone, you know, so it's just it's just another another means mm -hmm. to you know change these people's ways of life. Yeah. The America that that we knew, you know, for so long is changing. Yep. And it's not changing for our better, it's changing to the, the way that the elites want it. That's right. But yeah. that's when the Lord is, is going to um, take this place down. Yeah. Hey, things are tightening up. You know, that, that, uh, the, uh, the, the rules and laws of America are tightening up. Okay. And it's going to get to a point where you're either going to have to bow down to the beast or, or, you know, um, or, you know, be, be with the Heavenly Father. Exactly. You know, because hey, your your hand is gonna be um, forced one way or another. Uh, I got a scripture. Kind, you got it. This is uh, Malachi chapter one mm -hmm. and four. It says, "Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." And he saw he 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 uh, uh, came back into power during the time of the Renaissance, and uh, he rebuilt his world. You know, through America, and, and then of course, you know, the uh, British Empire, you know, conquering these different nations. Mm -hmm. You know, so right now they have the control of the earth. So they rebuild their kingdom up. But it says, "Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down." Mm -hmm. So whatever Esau is trying to build, whether it's America or this New World Order. Heavenly Father said he's going to throw it down, man. That's right. He's going to throw this place down. It, it, it's, it's not going to uh, be in power forever. 
Right. You know, they think that their houses shall continue forever. That's not going to happen. Okay? It says, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath ended nation forever. And that's going to be manifested once these nuclear missiles destroy America because that's how the world's going to know, oh, those were the people of uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so the world's going to know not to ever do that again. Uh, one more, it says, and your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. You know, because the Israelites are going to be the new rulers. The so-called black Spanish and Native Americans are going to be the new rulers in the earth, as we should be. That's right. Yeah, and that's what it's about. You know, that, that transition of power. Yeah. You know, because, you know, we're seeing the results of, of you know, America, the corporation destroying many. Right. You know? That's right. Uh, I, I get this Second Ezra 6 and 8 And he said unto me From Abraham unto Isaac When Jacob's When Jacob and Esau were first born of him Jacob's hand held first the hand of Esau For Esau is the begin Is the end of the world And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth Alright so this is that transition Of rulership yep. You know Um and and like the brother said, the so-called white man is, is going to be known as as the wicked. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be you know a well-known fact that that he fucking destroyed the earth once they see the difference. You know the you know a, a before and after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take a before and after picture, you know, take a before picture of America. And, you know, took an after photo, you know, a, a visual visualization of the kingdom. It's gonna be night and day. Is that yeah? You know, you got it. That, that, that was it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Hey, well, that's um, that's um, gonna be a heavy judgment, man. Mm -hmm. Like it says in Revelation, the 18th chapter, <laughs> for his sins have reached unto heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. so now what the Heavenly Father is going to do is, he's 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 going to show the world that, you know, not following his commandments and 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 not doing as he says to do, there's there's consequences, you know. Mm -hmm. And our people are learning the lesson too. Yep. You know, because we have wicked Israelites out here, man. Two thirds of them are going to be destroyed here in America, but once the one third sees that destruction, you know, we're going to praise the Heavenly Father, yeah. and we're going to be set up, you know? That's right. Rule. Right. Mm -hmm. That's so right. It it's done. It's done. It's done. It's over for this motherfucker. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll close up on that, uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaqwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom.